God, this is a story all about how my life got flipped so upside down. And I'd like to take a minute and sit right here and tell you all about a hot lot to do to sit down back in my chair. Y'all forgot Willie was from Philly. Y'all forgot Will was that dude who hung with Uncle Phil. How did thing go, Bob? If y'all know we bought Lord back in the building. If you don't know, I'm thinking everybody knows about this. The Oscars was great last night, but we all know who stole the spotlight on the show. My Twitter and Instagram was going crazy to the point where I literally had to turn my phone off because it was going off so crazy. Will Smith unloads one off of Chris Rock. Oh, you can! I talk in motion. Great fighter, Ken and Ryu. What did the five fingers say to the face? <laughs> but look, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about this because there have been a lot of different, you know, opinions and perspectives on what went down. And let me just say the first and foremost, shout out to Chris Rock, bro. Chris, Chris Rock held it down, bro. Chris Rock deserves a medal of honor to be professional on stage. You know what I'm saying? Chris Rock, he just kept the show going, literally, like, you know, the way he just played it off, like, like shows true integrity to what he does. He, Chris Rock was just like, well... Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. And, bro, this, like, the internet went crazy last night. Like, nobody expected this to happen. I actually thought it was fake at first, but then what made me realize that this may be kind of real is when I saw that the audio clipped and the fact that they turned the camera away from the situation. And then when you saw Chris kind of, like, stop for a minute and just was like, well, let me just give my one take on it. Let me put it into a little bit of perspective if I can in my own, you know, kind of situation, how I see things. Chris was at the wrong place, wrong time, literally picking at the wrong person. Because here's my thing about what I try to remember about celebrities and whatnot. And I think a lot of people across the internet forget this on the whole. No matter if they're artists, if they're musicians, if they're actors, if they're whatever the case may be in that celebrity world. At the end of the day, I, me personally, I remember that everyone is a person. I remember they are human. I remember that they have emotions. They have feelings. They have a mental state of mind. So all of this, I remember when it comes to celebrity, because I kind of understand where Will Smith was coming from and why he did what he did. Because you got to understand, Will, Will and Jada have been going through scrutiny through their marriage for the long, behind the scenes of, you know, love affairs and sexual relations with this one and that one. All that stuff is out there, you know what I'm saying? It's like Will is already kind of prepared to deal with that. But understand something. Jada's going through a health issue right now. That's why her hair is basically falling off. And mind you, nobody can say that how this is affecting her, how this is affecting their family, whatever the case may be. Aside from all the whole, like they say, August, and people's like, oh, that should have been August up there. Why ain't slap August and this and that? And, oh, did he just do that to Chris Rock because he knows he could get one over on Chris Rock? And that might be the case, whatever it may be. You know, maybe if it was somebody else, Will might have not did what he did on stage. But at the end of the day, I think Will, Will had that, like, look like, I wish a nigga would face the whole time. Will Smith came into the Oscars with like kind of like that, I wish a nigga would today. Because it's like I'm prepared for the whole people cracking joke on, oh, my girl stepping out, she dating this one, she dating that one. That That's out there, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that's the issue. Because when it comes to health, that's like picking on somebody who has cancer, bro. Or somebody who's like clinically ill, like with sickle cells or some shit like that. Like, I would honestly, I could understand kind of where Will came from. Bro, Will has been that dude like, He's been humble all through his career, you know what I'm saying? Will has been that, that humble dude all through his career. Taking scrutiny on top of scrutiny from people, blasphemy from, from interviewers, talk shows, magazines, all the stuff about, oh, your wife dating that one, this one, that one, all about their whole relationship. Will has been taking this forever in their relationship. And you try to tell me that because his wife is going through a mental issue right now, and not only that she's going through it herself, but she's actually working with other females that have this um, health condition to help get through it, to help deal with it, however it may be. So we don't know how that mentally is affecting Jada, Will, their family, whatever the case may be. We don't know the seriousness of her condition. And here Chris Rock goes just pointing at that. Like, honestly and truly, at every, everybody has a, a moment in their life where, but your pot can only get so full and so hot until the steam from that pot just starts to burst up. And now it's like, that's what happened last night. I'm damn near 50. I ain't about to do it no more through my life. Because Will Smith is one of the greatest actors in Hollywood next to Denzel Washington. Black actors in Hollywood. Chris Rock, I got him up there with the greatest of greatest in the comedian world. So to see what happened to Chris Rock, I personally didn't like it. Honestly, and truly, Chris Rock didn't. You know, I'm mad that it was Chris Rock who got that receiving slap from Will Smith. But in a way, I kind of understand where Will Smith is coming from because... 
you're not just attacking something that, oh, I already am prepared for, which is the whole, I get a relationship deal and people this and that and this and that. You're attacking my wife's health. And at the end of the day, if you as a man, you ain't protecting your family, then what are you protecting? What are you protecting? You know what I'm saying? If you ain't stand up for your kids and stand up for your wife, what are you doing? And little things about last night, I'm going to play this video clip for y'all so y'all can see, like, little things last night, kind of like, like I said, I felt like Will had that chip on his show, like, I wish a nigga would tonight, bro. I wish he would. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? So the G.I. Jane thing, that joke was, Will Smith actually even went along with the joke. Watch it. <laughs> you can see Will Smith laughing. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Watch Jada. <laughs> Y'all see the eye roll. And if anybody knows the eye roll, first of all, before I even get to the eye roll, let's go back and let's go to the one rule most married couples know and say, no matter what language no, you speak, no matter where you're from, happy wife, happy what? All right. All right. You, you, you all know where it's going. Happy wife, happy life. You all know when black girls roll their eyes. Women in general, white, black, Spanish, Caucasian, that's just the thing with women. When they roll their eyes, you know what that means. So Will was like, okay, I'm going along with the joke. But Jada was like, I, I'm, I'm not feeling this one. And as a man, I, I, I can't give Will wrong for standing up for his wife. Regardless, it might have been wrong at the place where he did it, the time when he did it, who he did it to. That may all be, like I say, for perception. And some people may feel like, yes, that might have been a little too far. But I understand frustration. I understand human emotions enough to know that sometimes enough is enough. But, and that's exactly what Will had last night. Will had enough. And Jada had enough. And Will stepped up. And sorry, it was Chris Rock. But Chris Rock had to get the, oh, are you kidding? He had to get the clack, 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 clack. The five finger beats the who? <laughs> it's that was a now, he, this is what made me also feel like this was real. He no, If you notice, Chris Rock is looking right at Jada right now. And I'm pretty sure he saw Will kind of like laugh it off. And then Jada was like, he saw the serious look on her face. And that's why he responded like, come on, that was good. That was good. Let's keep going. Now that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> From Will Smith come walking to me with that aggressive walk, I almost thought, like, maybe Will was going to go join him on stage to crack a joke, right? But me knowing that I don't, I'm a person, like, I, I, I listen to people, but I watch people's actions. I watch people's movement. I watch, because I, is there something, like, do you ever watch those, like, shows where they have profilers? People who watch your moves and your actions, like detectives who, when they can tell that you're lying, it's not because they're hearing what you say. No, they're watching your actions, watching your eye movements, watching your hand movements, watching how you're fidgeting here and there, and that's how they can tell when you lie. When I see someone like this walking up towards me with all this aggression, all of this oomph, I, I, if Chris Rock did really understand, I'm thinking Chris Rock probably knew that, but I don't think he coming up here to crack a joke with me. But and it was like. <laughs> Bro and Will Smith is so smooth. Karate! He just kind of like walked up there, held his head down for a minute. The actor that he is, and just clocked your boy one. I talk my straight clock. Oh, Richard! <laughs> oh, oh, wow! What did the five fingers say to the face? Wow! Wow! Will Smith did. Like I said, the audio went out. If you know what he said, he said, Will Smith just, just smacked the shit out of me. That's what he said. Will Smith just smacked the ish out of me. This one made me feel like, okay, this was real. And then when they played it, when I saw it, another clip, like how oh, Will Smith was just shouting out, leave my name, leave my wife's name out your mouth. And when I heard that, that's when I was like, yeah, it's real out here. It's real out here. That was a real one from Will. Like they say, I'm sad it happened to Chris Rock. I hate to see two gods going at it. I personally didn't even want this to see go any further, so I commend Chris Rock for being a stand-up guy that he is and just keeping the show going, not retaliating. It was probably me. I don't know what I would have done. I don't know if I would have retaliated. I don't know if I could have been as stand-up guy as Chris Rock. Who knows? Maybe if the situation was the setting was the same or whatever the case may be, whatever. But all I can say is, it shouldn't have happened, period. 
Like I said, we gotta remember that these celebrities are first and foremost before they're celebrities. They are human beings. That's my wife. Those are my kids. I am a man. I am supposed to protect them and stand up for them at all costs. If I, it's like, if I don't stand up for my woman and she leaves me for something like that, I can't blame her. So my thing is, how would y'all want to feel if Will didn't stand up for Jada and let that comment slide? Would it have been reversed? Would the end up being like, oh, Will is a punk. He ain't even, you know, stand up for Jada or say nothing. He just on the side there laughing while she going through the See, that's the other side of the conversation. So I'm sorry with you, Chris Rock. I'm fucked with you. I give you credit for keeping the show going. You didn't deserve it. But you kind of walked into it, especially attacking somebody's health like that. You just never know. I want to hear from you guys in the comment section. Do y'all think Will was right? Do y'all think he was wrong? Do y'all understand where he was coming from? Peace, out and well, guys. Stay tuned to the noise. Be grateful. Peace out, y'all.